In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to plot or print your plans on a PDF in black and white and how to use the plotting settings correctly and pen styles. In my previous, so this is an example of a previous project that we've done where if we go to the model space and we double clicked in the viewport, typically how we did this in the past, we would change the viewport colors which is a lot of work, which is unnecessary. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to set up page, print setup, and we're going to use that with plot styles to drive how the plot should look. Okay, so in our project, if we go to model space and paper space, you'll notice that when we've put the viewports onto the sheets, everything comes through in color. This is not ideal, you want to print this in black and white. So how do we go about fixing this? So the first thing you need to do is right click, go to Page Setup Manager, and you'll see that I've got an A1 print. If I remove this, delete it, and I go New, I'm going to create a new one, A1. Okay, this depends on whatever sheet size you're using, so just make sure that you name it appropriately. What I'll do now is I'm also going to change this to be DWG to PDF, this is very important, and options. Here you can see you can set a lot of this information. So I would leave the settings as they are, you get a good result this way. Good. Now, in the past we have not used a plain style, so we're going to use monochrome. This is very important, and we're going to enable this function display plot styles, very important. Then just make sure everything else works, and you can do a quick preview to make sure. Okay, so you want this to be an A1, good, and then you're going to leave everything, so layout, you can either use layout or extends, that's totally up to you, but if layout, if you've put the sheet at the right location, layout should work, or alternatively use extends and then use the center plot. You'll notice if you use the extends, it's quite a good option, so maybe use the extends and center the plot and make sure everything is one-to-one, -one, you can use scaling options, but as it stands, we're going to leave it as it is. Now press OK. Now, what you'll notice is this is the sheet name, and then this is the page setup. So what you need to do is double click on the A1. Now you notice that it's assigned this page setup to the sheet that we've set up. Press close. Now when I finish, you'll notice that everything now has gone to black and white. So this, this works really well if you want to convert drawing to black and white very quickly. However, I want to have some things grayed out or in different colors. So how do we go about set that? How do we go about setting that up so that that represents correctly? Okay. So in my old template file, you'll notice that the colors will work as follows. However, to fix this, if we go to organize all of our colors. So I know for a fact that the furniture, grid, and hatch must all be this gray color when they print. So simply all you have to do is select the color, and then you go to true color, and you make sure that these all become true colors. So what's interesting now is if I go back to my A1 sheet, you'll notice that all that information has grayed out now. I'll just show you an example with the planting, for example, if you want to do this in color. So let's just find the planting. So maybe this planting, let's just put all the trees in the same, let's just make planting, planting, I'm going to make this true color, true color, fantastic, and then trees, these two trees, I'm also going to make them a true color. Okay, great. And you'll notice with the hatches, what you can do with the hatches, you can also make these a true color. And these will come through correctly now. So you can use true colors. So I can give this a water effect, for example. And I can use the match properties tool. Just remember, because this might increase some of the cost with, with regards to printing. Okay. But everything else is a lot, will remain as it is. And if I go back to my sheet, you would have noticed how different this would look. I'll just match these properties quickly. So MA for match properties, just so that we're matching. So if you are going to overwrite, you can overwrite these objects to have true colors as well, then they'll print. So this is a much easier workflow, and you're using 
your pen styles to drive it's a page setup manager let me explain what's going on so if I go to modify basically you'll notice that all those colors 1 to 255 are called index colors in the old terms these were called pens but typically this is that index color from 1 to 255 and you'll notice that each pen has been assigned a color black so if you want to print another color you just make it a true color then it will allow you to and what is neat is if this option is enabled you can see exactly how this is going to print so here you can see the total end result and you can see this is exactly how we want it to print okay you can double check all your line weights so this is a good way to check your print before you print so for example I know that the viewports mustn't print and I want to make sure sometimes that I am using that viewport so what uh, I need to go to model space so if I go to model space and I go to layers and I go to viewport I just need to make sure that this is actually a true color okay now that it's a true color if I go back to a1 you'll notice that these will be fixed now okay so that's quite important to understand all right so layer properties just be aware if you have used these layer state managers to do that there is a way that we can reset that and I'll tackle that in a separate video but in essence this is how you set up your prints to print and you need to make sure that the page setup manager is driven by a page so let me just go and make sure that my a0 is the same so I'm going to go and modify my a0 make sure that these settings apply as well dwg to pdf everything will remain and here i'm going to change this to monochrome as well okay make sure display all the settings remain exactly the same fantastic so i'm going to press ok and then press close i'm not going to apply this so remember if you double click on the a0 it will apply to the page okay so press close just to save the settings but you can see now this is a good visual cue that this is my viewport but it'll never print so if I go to control P now so control P or you click print at the top here sometimes it might ask you to batch plot so just say single plot and if you go to preview you'll notice here you can get a very good preview of what's going on and I notice the planting layer did not change so I need to address that let's see why that didn't change so let's just go to modify let's go to my layers now go to planting layer okay so that's interesting something went wrong there so I need to see why that didn't change so usually these are in groups block editor you might find something in here so let's just check something let's grab this information right click properties you might find it should be by layer planting Okay, that is interesting. Close. Save changes. Let me just make sure. Planting by layer. Just go to planting again. Okay, that was a true color. So in essence, that was supposed to print correctly. Just remember those index colors. If you got an index color, here are those index colors. You see they've each got an index number. Those are all those colors that we were talking about earlier. So I'll just press OK press ok now in theory okay so that is very interesting the gray lines gray lines are working I must just fix the insulation as well so let me just do that as well layer properties so I'm just making sure that everything is working correctly insulation for example that layer I could also change to the gray layer and make it a true color as well good all right so it's very easy to fix this and get it to work Remember, you can also use Pantone color. So here you can see you've got a whole lot of Pantones. Please use the CMYK uncoated. So here you can also use Pantone colors as well. And those Pantone colors will usually print correctly. And you can see my viewport. These are all looking. Okay, so this is working correctly. Let's go to my sheets regen so you can see all my hatches working well 
uh, my insulation layer. Let me just fix that as well. Sometimes what happens is, so this is what you can double check as well, LA. You'll notice that some of the lines here, you can see that there hasn't been a change. So if this does happen to you, it's because of the setting that was set with the, so how do we fix that? So what you need to do is you need to go back to model space. This is very important. You need to go to layer. Now, you're going to take this layer state. So you're going to go to layer state. Where it says test for model, you need to say update. Yes, it will update everything. You're going to press close. Then you're going to go to the layer itself, and you're going to go to LA, layer. Now here, what you need to do is you need to double click on new. You'll see that it'll fix all this information. I can simply close. Now you can see everything's worked. So that's quite important. If that does happen, it's because you've got a layer state. So to fix that, if you go to layer, and you go to layer state, you can simply remove, delete all this information, delete, yes, delete, yes, delete. Yes. So we don't want a layer state driving. You want your layers to drive this every time. And going forward, every new layer that you create, if you go to layout, okay, so for every, every new layout that you'll create now, you'll notice that all this information will start working correctly. Okay, so this should not change. And just to double check, to double check this, what I can do is I can change the insulation layer I can change the, I'll change the pool colors. Let me change the planting color. Okay, so I'll change the planting color back to a gray. So I'm gonna go back to planting and that I'm simply gonna make. So index color, eight, true color, press okay. Close that, good. Now that I've fixed that, if I go to A1, this should simply, so this has not updated. Okay, so that is, that is just the product of this drawing. So these two need to match each other all the time. Okay, and that's got to do with the layer state. So this was preset, which was not correct, but what you can do is double click, control C, and then just open this to address it. Okay, but going forward, if this is preset up, then everything should be fixed on your drawings. Okay, whatever new layer you create thereafter, so whatever new layer you create after rectangle, you'll notice will be correct. So here it will be correct every time. Okay, so just make sure going forward, so what you can do, is just make sure when you're creating these layers that you reset these layers and remove all of those layer states. Please note the latest form C template, this has been resolved. I have set up all the correct colors. You'll see that everything has been set up with all the correct colors. Okay, and if you go to the A1 sheet, you double click and you go to LA, you'll notice that there is no layer state. There's only new. You can always use this to fix those layer states as I did in the previous video. Sorry, in my previous example. Okay, so that's how you go and print. So the last thing, let me just test the print. I'm going to press A1. Remember, this will preset up everything that I need to do. I'm going to press OK, and this will make it a PDF. I'm going to save this on my desktop, and then save. And then you'll notice everything has come through as it should. Okay, and you see the colors come through nicely. Just remember, if you're going to print with color, it'll cost a bit more downstairs.